presenting your president-elect, Dr. Nassim Shekhani. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the introduction. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share some of my thoughts this evening regarding future of our organization. Let's reflect on the core values and principles of APNA, which includes philanthropy, education, and networking. We should be proud, as Dr. Iqbal Zafar Hamid said, that we have done a lot of work. We have worked on cornea transplant program when an 11-year-old girl could see it, it was joyful to see her on, on a video, and when 26-year-old father of four could go back to work and feed his family. It was a heartening to see these things. We have done Muskan program for cleft lift. We have fed the hungry on, on our program. We have, we have clothed the people with Tabatar program. And above all, APNA has worked with young physicians where many of them could not come to US without the help of APNA. And today we see a lot of these kids who have got residency, and APNA is proud of them. There's a great respect in my heart with all the volunteers and the hard work, hard work they do and make these projects possible. I know there's a great achievement to come. However, we need to make unity within APNA. We have resolved one issue, but I consider the internal cost of over $150,000 in litigation due to infighting to be a great travesty. Can you imagine I work with Koi Goat Hospital and the cost to run 80 bed hospital is $150,000 to $200,000. So that's what we have done. Our future internal resolution would be a win-win situation, not a win-lose situation. Let's agree to have unity in thinking and unity in action. As we forge into the future, APNA should embark on projects where we can say and we should be proud of that. We should take a leadership role in promoting education, innovation, and research. The state of Pakistan faces an uncertain future. And we all feel that the root cause is lack of education, lack of research, innovation, and also long-term planning. After talking to many of the seniors and juniors in APNA and outside APNA, we feel that we have to make a formal platform to, to, to encourage research and innovation. APNA is no longer a routine organization. APNA is the biggest and the largest democratic organization around the world of expat. We need to show our younger generation that there is a progressive vision in APNA, and APNA is a long-term organization. In summary, I challenge each of you to consider how we can help USA, in, in USA and in Pakistan. We have, to bridge the gap. We, we have to bridge the gap on infighting. There will be other things, but we have to resolve the issues with a clearer mind and faster if we all can. And we should have a win-win approach and transforming vision into reality and becoming more innovative. I say to you all, let's make a difference. Let's take risk. We have to take risk to, to, be in, in, to go forward and be progressive. We have to work in a united fashion for research, education, and innovation. And let's make a difference in lives of those who need our organization. I'd like to thank my wife, Farad, who has been beside me and, and helped me in, in doing everything in APNA and supported me. Thank you, Farad. In, in the end, I would just say, par tum jis lamhe mein zinda ho, wo lamha tum se zinda hai. जिस लम्हे में तुम जिंदा हो वो लम्हा तुमसे जिंदा है तुम अपनी करकुजरो जो होगा देखा जाएगा